hey friends good morning okay friends today we're going to discuss about how do we install android marshmallow on samsung galaxy grand phones but before we install android marshmallow we would need a custom recovery and in this case we would need clockwork mode recovery to be installed on samsung galaxy grand phones first so how do we install clockwork mode recovery the first thing that we would need oh before we go to the first thing what is clockwork mode recovery i don't know but what it does is very interesting it helps us install android marshmallow on our phones and that is why we need to learn about it we need to learn to install it even if we don't know anything about it hi okay so first of all what do we need first thing that we need is to download odin that we have in we can download odin from the odindownload.com i have provided a link to this odin is a software that helps us flash the custom recovery custom recoveries in our samsung phones and mind you guys this is only available for the samsung users and then once the odin is connected what the next thing that we need is the clockwork mode recovery itself the clockwork mode recovery for samsung galaxy grand is actually not provided by clockwork mode recovery's official site but we have this developer super developer to our rescue that's pitwap okay so here's the file that we can see and we can this file is i actually customized to be used with odin what we can do is we can directly download the files from the link here i have provided this link also below the video and then once we download the file from here the next thing that we would need is super user basically we don't need super user for installing the new os but it's just one step and let's learn how to uh, root our phones also super user will help us root our phones and here is a super user from chainfire and i have provided links for chainfires and we must thank this developer for creating these files we must thank all these developers for making these files available to us and making our lives easier and i have provided the links to three of these websites below the video and i have downloaded them for myself for doing this work here okay the first thing that we need to start is odin so i have started my odin here okay and connected my phone with usb as you can see the next step that we need to do is we need to turn off the phone and we need to switch it off we need to switch it on back by pressing the volume down button and the home key together once let it go down we need to press the volume down and home key together while it switches on I just took a screenshot by mistake. Yeah. We need to press the power button, the home key and the volume down button all of these three together. And once it start it will ask, do you want to yes? Do you want to load a custom OS as this is this can cause some 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 warning, but I think it's important that we know that we might also break these phones and we might also start thermonuclear wars doing this process but never mind you are all ready to take up the responsibility and once you want to continue just press the volume up button here and once you press the volume up button it would say it's in the downloading mode as soon as we do this if you could observe this idcom is filled with idcom3 earlier it was not there so next thing that we need to do is we need to go here the pda portion the pda checkbox choose the pda and go to the recovery file this is the clockwork mod recovery file that we have downloaded from pitwaps file here this is the file that we need and we choose the file in odin's choose odin's window and then we say start and we press start button and we sit back and relax so once the it will our phone will restart for quite few times and this would start the process as you can see the downloading of clockwork mode recovery into our phone from is in progress you can see it's going on and once it is done the phone would restart and we'll get a message from odin that the thing has passed let's wait for a few seconds it sticks less than a minute to do that have uh, yep 
it is completed it says pass and then we have our phone we have our samsung galaxy grand phone restarting once the phone restarts we can just check if we have clockwork mode recovery installed on our phone or not so once we have installed clockwork mode recovery we can check if it is installed properly or not by switching off the phone and when we turn it on we need to press the volume up button the home button and the power button simultaneously and once we see the samsung symbol we can leave the power button and we can keep pressing the volume up and the home button and it should take us directly to the clockwork mode recovery screen yes we see that clockwork mode recovery is installed in our phone correctly and we are able to see the portion of clockwork mode recovery and now let's move to the part where we root the phone where we install the super user in our phones remember we downloaded this file from the chain files website super user su yes this file so next thing what we did was what i have already done is i have downloaded this file and put it into the my, my sd card so next thing we need to choose is install zip if you can we can navigate in the screen by using volume up and the volume down buttons and install zip and for selecting install zip we can press the power button here and once you press the power button it asks is it there in the internal memory the sd card or it is there in the external memory the sd card one we choose the sd card one i have placed the files there choose sd card one and i can go to the file yes i can go to the super user file now the super user file here it is beta super user 2.5.2 and i can just choose the file to install it on my system on my phone once i press okay that means that once i press the power button it asks me yes or no i say yes i want to install the super user file and here you go system starts installing the file you can see the message install from the sd card is complete once this install is complete we can just go back go back and reboot the phone now once rebooted once rebooted we will have a samsung galaxy grand phone which has a custom recovery already installed in it and it is also a rooted phone we can check this by the system super user app and once we install any other app that needs a super user access we'll get a prompt from the super user app that this so and so app is asking for root access thank you for watching in the next video we will install android marshmallow in our samsung galaxy grand phone it's hot in the market currently right yep but what i have already tested android marshmallow on my phone and from my experiences what i have seen the android lollipop is still far more stable than android marshmallow though the marshmallow is very good on battery performance because hardly my samsung galaxy grand battery lasts for an hour or two unless i'm charging it for the whole day if you can see this is app come up for the first time it's taking some time yep we have the super user app installed and i have already given the permission of super user app to system app remover oh this app helps me a lot to remove all the blot ways in my phone right guys thanks for watching bye bye until next time